so then lap 1000 of the season is our first lap here today and it's lights out and away we go and Vettel gets away very well indeed Lewis Hamilton hot on his tail and Max Verstappen tries to cover him off Valtteri Bottas has Kimi, Kimi Raikkonen for company Verstappen breaks the toe and now he's going wheel to wheel with Vettel Hamilton's coming up on the outside as well Vettel into turn one Verstappen round the outside Hamilton in third place Verstappen and Vettel touch once again but this time Vettel picks up a little bit of damage as his front wing there touching Verstappen and there's more carbon fibre on the track yes it's an awful start for Vettel he's got a lot of damage already will he have damaged the right rear tire of Max Verstappen Valtteri Bottas in a second and Hamilton's got problems Hamilton's got a puncture on his right rear tire Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel coming together this is an awful start for Lewis Hamilton who's going to have to now try and limp back to the pits there's Stoffel Van Dorn overtaking him in the McLaren and the Sauber then in Marcus Ericsson it's a very short lap I've got a flat tire I've got a flat tire Copy, copy, Lewis. So box, 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 box. For the rest of the pack. It looked to me as if Verstappen might have had a touch with Hamilton too. Simply, simply lovely. <laughs> oh, simply, mate. <laughs> You've got to love yeah. this man sometimes, haven't you? <laughs> it was simply, simply lovely. He does like the Queen's English. Yeah. But look at that. Sebastian Vettel seeing his front wing flying off into the air and then ahead of this race. It was nine to four, two and a quarter to one. Uh, to win this race. Uh, I want him to win. And there goes Vettel, under braking, round the corner with uh, Felipe Massa. Now he's gone off the track so and he's gone straight ahead. Back. Hand he, it straight back. Because he was kind of forced that way by Felipe Massa. He wasn't ahead of Felipe Massa. He is now ahead of Felipe Massa. And whilst the stewards are looking at uh, Alonso and Grosjean for leaving the track and gaining an advantage, uh, I dare say they're going to want to look at that one as well. I've Seriously, are we developing auto scooter here? Sort of, it's fun to push the other guy off the track. I had my nose ahead. Sabre, stay focused. stay I am focused. I am focused, don't worry. To the stewards as well. Let's look at it off board here, Martin. He's ahead there, into the corner there, side by side. All the way through Crofty, and now you're looking at me for us to say something. <laughs> I, want, I want to see it through to. I think he should hand it back. Was Matt Massive wasn't over aggressive in his defence? Oh, he's turning left. He's got the car. The cars. He's got lateral. A lateral. Oh, he got, he got oversteer. That's what it was. Massa got oversteer, and it looked like he turned into him, but he had to turn into him. But uh, Ericsson for Haas. This is a great day to steal some points Isn't for the just? lower lower grid teams. Well, Pierre Gasly at the moment is running in 14th. Uh, we're on board with Sebastian Vettel. I think 14th place might be going to the Ferrari in a couple of moments' time. He, he fancies this to Sebastian Vettel down the inside, uh, and he makes it quite easily indeed. So remember that they stopped Hamilton for a long time in that pit. So they were looking. Something was bothering them. I wonder if it's got some bodywork damage or floor damage because his pace has been unremarkable since he went back out. I know he's on the soft tyres, but we've seen some good Here runs goes on again tires. on Roman Grosjean. No signs there that the Haas driver was prepared to let Vettel pass. He's, he's kept him at bay for about a lap. Just to get past these guys, it's difficult. It's crazy to be fighting for this position. He's smart as let me go and follow me. Tiring to the pits, if they can help it in the slightest. Uh, meanwhile, Ferrari and car number five getting past Brendan Hartley in car number 28 uh, this weekend. He's got his proper race number uh, this weekend. And while we see that overtake, this is Hamilton being lapped for the first time since Barcelona in 2013. There's a man who takes a look. What is he thinking this afternoon? I wonder. Sebastian Vettel manages to get past Fernando Alonso. Candy from a baby, that one, wasn't it? As I, I can't get close to a car you know is going to be midfield and always following something else and it does seem the Mercedes uh, as Vettel and Verstappen in the first corner they say no further action Lewis uh, ever the opportunist and he's saying did he touch me on purpose it didn't do either of them any good let's have a look I think he's jockeying along some oversteer when he gets on the throttle oh, there goes Vettel's front wing and there goes more of it and Lewis Hamilton. He's out of this race very suddenly indeed. Hulkenberg has pulled over to the right-hand side of the racetrack and is getting out of his Renault. 
And this is another retirement for Nico Hulkenberg, who's going through an absolute dreadful run now of four retirements in his last five races. Sensibly, he's parked it in a service road, so they'll uh, cover it under yellows rather than actual or virtual safety car. Well, th this is turning into a real race of attrition, isn't it? And a weekend of attrition for engines. Another Renault motor. Mm -hmm. If it's the motor. Stop the car, please, Nico. Stop the car. The car is not safe, Nico. The car is not safe. You need to get out by climbing onto the front of the car and jumping off. So that, that is an Urs problem that he has got there. So do not touch that car whilst you're touching the ground as well. The piece he's put there is his seat belt, the centre of his seat belt. Um, is the little round piece he's put there, so the battery pack is not safe. You've got to take a leap and a jump off that, and that means the marshals can't get anywhere near it. He's at least second here today, so eighth place would not be good enough. Yeah, as we uh, predicted there, Alonso, no defence with the DRS in it. The worst weekend possible uh, for teams running Renault engines. Hartley out, Hulkenberg out, Ricardo out. Virtual safety car, so they all go around at the same speed. What Vettel and Hamilton need is an actual safety car, yeah. so the snake, uh, so they, they form a snake behind the safety car and it brings them right back into play. They haven't got one. They've got a virtual safety car. The way. Yeah, I would imagine there's an overrider when they supply engines. Of, look, don't just jump out of the way, but don't make our lives unnecessarily hard in these circumstances. Well, he's not moving out of the way. Is he making life uh, unnecessarily hard? No. It was uh, an open invitation, shall we say, there to Sebastian Vettel. The car in front of him is Pascal Wehrlein. Mercedes Benz, uh, young driver, of course. Chats with Toto Wolff at the moment as to where his future might lie and still thinks it could be in Formula One. Uh, well, he's passed then by Lewis Hamilton. He wasn't going to dart around, was he? Make no. that hard. I, 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 to be fair, I think the Mercedes had a pretty fair advantage in terms of pace. So a mix of cars on the Super and Ultra. The Ultra's going to make it all the way. Well, I'll ask the question, please give me the reply. Copy, Lewis. So yeah, we've already done, most people have already done half a race distance on that Ultra Soft. So it's likely with a lighter fuel, they'll probably be able to make it to the end. On the Ultras. He's on the Super Soft, yeah, the one step harder. And uh, so he's asking about other people's cars there, not his. I think I'll be pulling some of those tear-offs off my visor by now. <laughs> Alonso in ninth. Vettel uh, Hamilton is 8, 13, 17, 23, 25 and a half seconds. Hamilton. Very good pace. Keep pushing like this. Hang in there. And even more. And Sebastian Vettel might get the, the helping palm of a bit of DRS pushing him along. Look, we can see on the screen there the, the state of the, uh, the battery when it's being used by uh, both drivers, and we can see Sebastian Vettel's getting close, but not quite close enough. Can he get a really good exit out of turn two? And put some pressure here on Sergio Perez uh, down towards the next heavy braking zone, and he's close enough. Is he going to go from that far back? Yes, he is. Down the inside goes Vettel, locks up, goes wide, stays on the track. Nice move from Sebastian Vettel to get past Sergio Perez and up into sixth place. Kind of nothing to lose. That Monza Grand Prix where he and Alonso went wide through Curva Grande and he got past then. One of the races that put pay to that theory for me. Yeah, that was with all the precision of a surgeon's knife. Very good. Yeah, well, they didn't like it down at Force India, sadly, but Ted, let's go down to you. Well, and they've decided to do the same. Don't forget Williams uh, and Force India. Uh, they've had the, uh, the, the tussle this season in the Constructors' Championship. DRS. Sebastian Vettel with DRS, and Lance Stroll's looking in his mirrors to see where the Ferrari is, and he's right behind you, Lance, and now he's going to pull over to the right-hand side. He does, he goes down the inside, and sensibly, I think Lance Stroll rather doesn't pick a fight with Sebastian Vettel and doesn't defend too strongly either. And now, trying to go around the outside, Mass has not made that easy for him at all. Hamilton still manages it. And Lewis Hamilton is now up into the points. It's the top ten for Hamilton. He was plum last at the end of lap one, and he now scores a solitary point. So that streak 
of consecutive points finishes as is Sebastian Vettel on Esteban Ocon down towards the breaking zone at the end of the main straight Vettel goes down the inside of Ocon and that was an awful lot easier than it might have looked at one stage Sebastian Vettel up into fourth place while the extinguishers come out for Marcus Ericsson Ted yeah engine yeah I, engine problem I, d I don't need to tell you <laughs> don't need to tell you that the car was on fire Oh, it was such a good race up to then. It's, it's a huge shame yeah. for Marcus Ericsson there. You, you, you dearly love him to score a point before now, uh, between now and the end of the season. He's kind of been there or thereabouts, but it's just not going for him, uh, so sadly. Massa parks it on the inside, gives Hamilton some space to work with, and job done. Lewis's mum liked that one. Well, she did at the end. I think eventually she liked it, <laughs> yes. but... It was, she, <laughs> Was clenching a bit halfway through there, and that is what happened to Marcus Ericsson. Everything's running so so hot here, 22% less air to cool things with, and that's how it starts going wrong. What position am I? So you're currently in P10, so we've got P8 on the cards for us, definitely. Ching. Keep it 23 seconds in front. How many seconds, you said? 23. Oh, mamma mia. It's a little bit too much. How far is Sir from Kimi? So there's a big gap between them. A Raikkonen P3, a Vettel now a P4. Looking at the TV. Coming, he's got to get this move done. No, Alonso's Off gone. Alonso. Alonso went to defend there. He's forced Hamilton round the outside. And they're going wheel to wheel. Hamilton really does have to yield there to Fernando Alonso because the last thing he wants is a second puncture in this race. And Alonso was mightily close to him. Now, with DRS, and Alonso's got his DRS open as well. Can he have a go round the outside into turn four? No. Alonso, with some great defending, positioning his car perfectly there. World, yeah, momentarily. Lewis will be a, have a bit of chagrin about that, especially then he drops it on the outside. Whip didn't work, and then the part, you know, the slide, he didn't actually have DRS. And he won't have it again down here. No. And also, not having DRS either, because Magnussen moved a little bit further away from him. Masterminded a fair few himself. Three for Mercedes Benz. That was so, so close to so Hamilton suffering some front wing damage. There he goes, he's on the dirty part of the track. Back end trying to overtake the front tyres. And he had to... <laughs> Implicit in, please Max, don't do it again. Here goes Hamilton trying again and he's going to try around the outside again. Heavy braking into turn one and this time Fernando Alonso and Hamilton do touch and there was damage uh, to one of the cars and I think it was from the right hand side of Hamilton's Mercedes. Alonso forcing him round the outside, not making it easy at all. But now Hamilton with DRS goes down towards turn four, gets ahead of Fernando Alonso, and Alonso fights back. Hamilton is forced wide, now has the inside line, didn't leave the track fully. That's great driving from Lewis Hamilton, great defending from Fernando Alonso. What a show those two have put on for ninth place. Hamilton up into ninth, and Alonso still biting back at him. Yeah. Talk us through this one again, Martin. So Alonso has got the inside line, just releases the brake pressure to grab the high ground, more and more contact. Lewis comes out on the inside, a little bit more power, DRS wide open, and one of those cars could have flown through the air. What do you think? He went off the track on the overtake, you know, he was okay. It was okay. good racing, but fair racing. Yeah, he didn't actually go off the track, did he? In there? Well, you've got to have all four wheels off the track. Yeah. Uh, there were two of them. Yeah, it's, it's nowhere near off the track. It wasn't like uh, Vettel earlier on against Massa. Yeah, you can be sure Verstappen will not be told he's no longer gone. Later, and has really made it count. It is a third win in Formula One for the Dutchman. Max Verstappen wins the Mexican Grand Prix for Red Bull. It is another victory. It is another superb drive for Max Verstappen. Valtteri Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen will come home to take the final podium spots. Hamilton in a minute will be crowned a world Martin. And from the council estate in Stevenage to the luxury apartments in Monaco, he has very much made his mark in this sport and deserves each one of the four titles. Still having a look at 
but he doesn't really need to. There's nowhere to overtake in this uh, stadium section anyway, but it's good enough. He's done enough today. Spare a thought for Sebastian Vettel, whose championship challenge has seen him top the table for the majority of this season, but since the summer break, Hamilton has been formidable. He has been the force, and he crosses the line now to become the four-time world champion. Lewis Hamilton does it in 2017, and he can scarcely, scarcely believe what has happened for this season. It has been magnificent, maybe not this afternoon, but certainly over the course of the campaign and very definitely since the summer break. Sebastian Vettel comes home to finish in fourth place. Esteban Ocon uh, with a fifth place finish equals his best in Formula One ahead of Lance Stroll. Happy birthday to him. And sixth for Williams, Sergio Perez has a best ever finish in Mexico. Comes seventh ahead of...